Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. I'm catching up on some of my favorite videos, and I thought I'd point out that the cooler's running, the refrigerator in the pantry is running, it's about 20 minutes of 4, the fan is running, the chest freezer is running, and the chest refrigerator is running. The swimming pool filter is running. My wife is reminiscing. So we just don't even really pay attention to how much power we're using, which was the whole idea. But we did the minimalist. We spent our first winter at 610 watts, and we went to 1,000, then we went to 1,200, then 1,400, and moved around some assets, and we're able to go to 4.8K. So in here, that one's idling. This one's in float, 16 amps. This one's going 24 amps. This should be maybe two amps or a little less going in the batteries. Yeah, right at two amps. Maintaining float at 28 volts. Batteries at 100%. So that one's capable of 40 amps. This one's capable of 65. This one's capable of 45. And we're just really idling not using very much at all. Not using much of our solar capacity, but 54 amps is being generated out of the inverter. So the house is using 54 amps with everything running that you saw. And I did get this room cleaned up a little bit. So we'll be able to bring in our overwinter plants. So what I do is uh, just ignore that we're off grid. We'll see if I'm able to do that December, January, see if that game plan still works. So everything's running normal. Don't even really think about it much. We did the minimalist thing. and learned how to live on 1400 watts. And we were doing fine. There was about two hours worth of generator time nearly every day for 50 days in a row. Only for those 50 days and it was about $53 total fuel cost for the year. And that's really affordable, but the extra solar was so that we don't have to run the generator at all. That's the goal. And so uh, solar panels are so cheap. I was getting panels locally at 49 cents a watt. And at that price, the solar panels become the cheapest part of your system. Who'd have thunk that back in 07? Um, that wasn't the case at all. Sorry, I'm a little scarfy. I just had surgery a couple of days ago. And working on my sinuses so I'm able to breathe. And I felt the difference when I woke up in recovery that, I, hey, I can breathe. What an amazing thing. All right, folks, have a blessed day.